हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हियर माई सेल्फ मंजूषा एंड आई एम स्टार्टेड हियर अ सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर फॉर मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट वी ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द फर्स्ट थ्री लेक्चर्स एंड ऑल दीज लेक्चर्स आर एज पर यूर न्यू पी सी आई सिलेबस एंड इट विल प्रोवाइड यू इन डिटेल इन्फॉर्मेशन नॉट जस्ट द पी पी टी सो मूविंग टूवर्ड द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर फोर ड्रग एक्टिंग ऑन एटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम इंट्रोडक्शन एटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम दैट कंट्रोल्स एंड रेगुलेट्स द इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स सेकेंड पॉइंट इट कंट्रोल्स ऑल द इन्वॉलेंटरी एक्शंस एंड हेल्प्स टू मेंटेन द कंस्टेंसी ऑफ द इंटरनल एनवायरमेंट ANS is also called as the visceral or involuntary nervous system it works through the nerves ganglia and plexuses and regulates the functions which are not conscious control ANS consists of the two main parts sympathetic nervous system parasympathetic nervous system both these systems have the opposite actions sympathetic nervous system it has catabolic effect catabolic effect means the use of the energy for the conversion of simple form like increasing blood pressure contraction of arteries and relaxation of bronchial muscles the parasympathetic nervous system has anabolic effect anabolic effect means use of the energy for forming the new thing like contraction of the pupil decrease in the blood pressure increase in the activity of digestive system and the git secretions etc so here i have shown how the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system work with the autonomic nervous system and how they control or they have the action on the various organs and the system of human body next point adrenergic drugs and neurotransmitters first of all adrenergic drugs what it mean these are the agents which directly act on the sympathetic nervous system adrenergic drugs are also called as a sympathomimetic drugs because these agent mimics the action of sympathetic nervous system means they work in the same way as the sympathetic nervous system third thing regarding the neurotransmitter so these are referred as the body's chemical messenger they are the molecules used by the nervous system to transfer the message between neurons or from neurons to muscles as i shown here how from the neurons to the muscles messages were transferred and how from neurons to neurons messages are transferred next point regarding the neurotransmitter is the neurotransmitter of adrenergic system belongs to the class that is the catecholamines what is mean by the catecholamines these are nothing but the hormones obtained by the adrenal glands for example epinephrine hormone norepinephrine and dopamine these are generally the principal neurotransmitters epinephrine also called as adrenaline norepinephrine also called as nor noradrenaline and dopamine are the naturally occurring catecholamines and all these together controls the various responses of fight flight or the fear system now moving towards the next point that is biosynthesis of neurotransmitters that is the catecholamines so here in this chart i have shown how the conversion of a catecholamine is take place so see the biosynthesis of neurotransmitter is carried out in the adrenergic neuron so it is carried out in the adrenergic neuron in the central nervous system as well as in the sympathetic neuron in the autonomic nervous system as well as in the adrenal medulla 
so it involves the following steps first one the conversion of phenyl aniline into the tyrosine it is take place in the liver in the presence of enzyme hydroxylase second is that the conversion of tyrosine to the dopa it is take place in the presence of hydroxylase in adrenergic neuronal cytoplasm and next one is that the dopa is converted into the dopamine in the presence of decarboxylase in the same place that is the neuronal cytoplasm and the dopamine is converted into noradrenaline by the presence of beta hydroxylase enzyme and this process is carried out inside the granules and the non adrenaline is converted into the adrenaline so this process is carried out in the adrenal medulla and cells in the presence of n methyl transferase means here we are obtaining dopamine non adrenaline and adrenaline and all these are the main catecholamines next point is that storage and release the nor adrenaline is stored in the sympathetic vesicles or granules within the adrenergic nerve terminals in the form of atp complexes these neurotransmitters will release only when there is an increase in permeability of the nerve terminal membrane to calcium ions because of an action potential now next point is the catabolism of catecholamines as i told catabolism is the conversion of simple form by the use of energy catabolism of catecholamine is mediated by the two main enzymes first is catecholamine o methyl transferase catecholamine o methyl transferase here and second is monoamine oxidase monoamine oxidase which is present in the synaptic cleft and cytosol of the cell and this monoamine oxidase located in the mitochondrial membrane and overall this process of catabolism will obtain 4 hydroxy 3 methoxy phenyl glycoaldehyde so this is the overall process of catabolism of catecholamine moving towards the next slide adrenergic receptors and their types so adrenergic receptors it belongs to the class of g protein coupled receptors as i shown in the image regarding its structure and these are having the common structure with the seven alpha helical transmembrane when you are going to calculate this green structure in a zigzag form you will obtain the seven helicals three extracellular and three intracellular loops so these are the three extracellular loops and simultaneously these are the three intracellular loops and the g protein consists of three subunits alpha beta and gamma so this is regarding the adrenergic receptors now moving towards the adrenergic receptors classification so basically these are classified into the two classes alpha and beta receptors alpha receptors are excitatory in nature while the beta are the inhibitory in nature regarding the function of alpha and alpha 2 as i given in the table alpha 1 is useful for the gland secretion relaxation of gut vasoconstriction contraction of the smooth muscles and glycogenolysis in the liver and alpha 2 it play as a role of vasoconstriction platelet aggregation decrease insulin secretion decrease sympathetic flow and inhibits neurotransmitter release now moving towards the beta receptors we completed the alpha with alpha 1 and alpha 2 now regarding the beta receptors these are further subdivided into the beta 1 and beta 2 receptors 
बीटा टू रिसेप्टर स्पेशली प्रेजेंट इन द कार्डिया टिश्यू दैट इज हार्ट एंड जे जी दैट इज अ जक्स्ट्रा ग्लोम्यूलर सेल्स इन द किडनी दीज आर प्रेजेंट स्पेशली बीटा वन इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द कार्डिया टिश्यू एंड बीटा टू इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द स्मूथ मसल्स एंड सम ग्लैंड इंक्लूडिंग ब्रोंकाय ब्लड वेसल्स लीवर एक्सेट्रा सो हियर द फंक्शन ऑफ बी वन एंड बी टू द इम्पॉर्टेंट फंक्शंस आर शोन इन द टेबल दे बी बी रिगार्डिंग द बी वन इट इंक्रीजेस द फोर्स एंड रेट ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ द हर्ट मसल्स डायलेट्स करनोरी ब्लड वेसल्स रिलैक्सेस स्मूथ मसल्स इन द गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टिनल ट्रैक्ट फोर्थ वन लिपोलाइसिस इन द किडनी लीवर एंड द रेनिन रिलीज फ्रॉम जेक्स्ट्रा ग्लोमुलर सेल्स इन द किडनी Now moving towards the beta two receptors function, it helps in the relaxation of smooth muscles in the bronchi, uterus, and arteries, which supply skeletal muscles, and linked with the inhibitory responses. Linked with the inhibitory responses. So with this, we completed regarding the basic of autonomic nervous system. I hope you understand very well. Thank you, everyone.